Hello, everyone, and welcome to San Diego Market Movers Question of the Week. Today we have Peter Carlstein. How's it going, Peter? Fantastic. Thanks for having me. Of course. Well, thank you for being here. And I got a question for you today. Okay, shoot. Yeah, so aside from being overpriced, what are some reasons why a home would not sell in this market? So price can overcome a lot of things, but it can't overcome everything. One of the main things is going to be accessibility to the unit for showing. Is it tenant occupied? Do the sellers only allow showings two hours a week on every other weekend? If it's, if it's vacant, that makes it helpful. But a lot of times there's showing restrictions that don't jive with the agent schedule or the buyer's schedule. And that can really prevent enough buyers from coming in to take a look at the property. Um, another issue is how it looks, the property condition. Sometimes it doesn't matter what the price is. If you walk in and there's clutter everywhere or it's got that funky smell where everybody knows what, what that smell is, <laughs> um, that can really turn off buyers. And a lot of buyers right now are looking for that turnkey property. And if it's not that, then they may just move on to the next one and, and pay more for something that is more turnkey. And I would say another one is going to be the accessibility of the listing agent. If the listing agent is the kind of person that's not answering his phone, that's not getting back to the, to the buyer's agents, it may not be, matter how accessible the property is, it may not matter what the price is at, if you can't have a conversation with that agent, that's going to prevent that property from being able to sell. Absolutely. These are really great points, right? So what are some things that you do to prepare a home to get it on the market? Great question. So we want to make sure the property shows in the best light possible. Part of what I do as a listing agent is I'll go there with my interior decorator and stager, make sure that even if it's owner occupied, we're moving things around, we're trying to make the best of whatever space there is. Some of the listings are vacant. Some of the listings is people still live in, but we still have uh, our, our interior decorator in there to make sure that it shows well. They may bring in a couple accent pieces, mm -hmm. a couple things to help you know lighten up the, uh, the mood there, but it's, it's really preparation. Also, we wanna make sure that it shows very well online, mm -hmm. not just for the initial um, buyer uh, uh, impression on it, but after the buyers put an offer in, they're gonna to wanna to show it off to their friends and their family. Right. And if you're showing off a property that's got crappy pictures, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, if you got showing bad pictures or you know that, that, that shows in, in not, not great light, mm -hmm. their friends are gonna look at them and go, what are you thinking? Yeah. Why, did you, why are you buying that for that much money? So we do the video walkthrough, we do the professional photography, we do the 3D imaging, we do everything we can to make sure that it not just shows well to buyers, but throughout the entire escrow process. We don't want that buyer's remorse setting in after they realize, you know, shoot, I just spent this much money on this house. What was I thinking? Right. So we want it to go through. Yeah, these are really good points. I mean, like you said, preparation is key. Walking your client through the home and saying, hey, these are the things that we need to do to put your home on the market, and which would also bring you a lot more value too. And I think a lot of people may be scared that it's gonna cost them a fortune to get the home in the right condition to put it on the market. That's not the case, right? You can do things that are cost efficient to Correct. get your home right in the market. And, and that's why bringing the interior decorator mm -hmm. is, you know, we don't wanna spend thousands and thousands of dollars to just get the property ready. We want to make sure we get the biggest bang for our buck, and that's what we specialize in. That's how we bring extra value to those sellers. Yeah, well, I love that. And getting a listing agent that is going to do all the right things for you, being communicative. Mm -hmm. So you got to talk to Peter so you can be the listing <laughs> agent as well, right? That's right. Got to get this home ready to go, being communicative, being open, and have people willing to come in and go see it. You know, make time for that because that's the more exposure you get, the the more that you'll have people coming in and looking at it and possibly giving offers, right? Of course. Yeah. yeah. So thank you for being here today and answering the question of the week. Of course. You're yeah. welcome. Yeah. That was Peter Carlstein with San Diego Market Movers Question of the Week.